Hello, my name is Yulia and this is Mitri. Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Uh, we're discussing fragrances here, uh, we're discussing fragrances that we have already in our collection and also we're sampling new fragrances and uh, today we'll show you our uh, musky fragrances. We have full bottles here and we also have some samples. Uh, we've gone through all of our samples and we've chosen the best uh, musky scents that we have and um, uh, some of the fragrances have uh, a little less musk, uh, some of them are full-on full musky scents. Uh, we'll have um, uh, natural musky scents and uh, also um, uh, artificial musk. Uh, so uh, there will be something for everyone, uh, we guess, in uh, uh, this um, review. So let me start with uh, White Spirit by Juliet Has a Gun. Uh, this is a white floral, musky, amber, tuberose, jasmine, sambac, ambroxan uh, scent. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, the color is uh, white and um, actually I think it really reflects the juice and uh, it's very like clean uh, white floral scent. Uh, it's a little bit similar to Narcotic V by Nazamato, so if you're into floral and musky scents, um, maybe you should try this one. Yes, yeah, beautiful, beautiful composition. Uh, the next one is uh, San Santal Superfluid by uh, the house of Lea O Primordialis. It's a uh, ambery, musky, woody powder fragrance with uh, a lot of sandalwood in the base. It also has uh, ambroxan, plum, rose musk and uh, other notes. Uh, to me it smells like, uh, like a cream, uh, clean uh, laundry smell. Mm -hmm. With uh, sandalwood, it's musky, creamy, beautiful, smells very fresh and uh, smells actually really good and the performance is uh, very good. Uh, the next fragrance is uh, by the house of Benicio, it's a uh, musk therapy. It's a clean, citrusy, musky scent. Uh, it also has some floral and fruity nuances. Uh, there's blackcurrant here, bergamot, magnolia, sandalwood and a lot of musk. This is beautiful, clean, fresh, citrusy, amazing for hot weather. Uh, the next one is uh, Confessions of a Garden Gnome by the House of Fortin Malley from Australia. The nose is uh, Recite Fork. It's, uh, it's a beautiful composition. It's like a green, fresh, uplifting, yeah, very summery. It's uh, white floral. Uh, citrusy, ozonic. It has a, uh, it has musk in it. It's uh, quite prominent. It has a uh, yuzu lily of the valley, uh, lily violet, violet leaf, uh, beautiful white musk, ambergris. Yeah, quite beautiful. But uh, the performance is not so good. Uh, next fragrance is uh, Terrace of Saint Germain uh, by Julie Matt. Mm, this is a beautiful floral, citrusy, woody, musky uh, fragrance. It's got rhubarb, freesia, uh, grapefruit, rose, and of course musk. It's a beautiful kind of green floral fragrance. It's got fresh vibe uh, thanks to musk here. Very good. It smells quite natural. It's uh, actually the smell of uh, the terrace in uh, France where uh, Owners of the brand uh, have met each other. Uh, the next one is uh, Vixir by Aleximos. And uh, it's a beautiful fragrance. The opening is a little bit weird, uh, first uh, 30 minutes, uh, then it uh, becomes much more pleasant. Uh, it's uh, powdery, uh, uh, has a huge flo florals in it. It's uh, citrusy, musky, uh, it has orange blossom, ylang ylang, uh, bergamot, violet, iris, musk, uh, jasmine and uh, sandalwood. Uh, for many people this fragrance uh, reminds of uh, 
Valiant by Bodicea de Victorious, but uh, this is much cheaper. Um, next fragrance is um, Gem Fluidity Gold by Maison Francisco Jan. Uh, it's a vanilla, ambery, musky, powdery, woody uh, fragrance. It's got juniper berries as well. It's beautiful, it's sweet, it's light. It's a very positive fragrance to me. I really enjoy this one a lot. Uh, the next one is uh, French Lover by uh, the house of uh, Frederick Mann. And uh, it's very green composition. It's woody, aromatic. It, it, it's uh, also musky, ambery. It has a uh, galbanum, angelica, oak moss, vetiver, uh, cedar, and other notes. It's very beautiful, very masculine, uh, very fresh and green. Mm -hmm. And next fragrance is uh, Cashmere Mask by Ajmal. Uh, this is a very clean, musky scent. Uh, when you first spray this fragrance, you smell uh, almost nothing. It's just like some freshness coming out and it's musk. And then it becomes a little bit woodier, powdery. Um, you can smell a bit of saffron, ylang ylang, uh, cashmere and jasmine and cedar. So it becomes a little warmer and a bit spicier. Uh, the next fragrance is uh, Sal Salé Privé. Uh, uh, the fragrance name is uh, Celluloid Heroes. It's uh, very musky, fresh, uh, citrusy, powdery. It has a lot of uh, cuc cucumber in it. Magnolia, bergamot, sandal. For me, this is a very fresh composition. Uh, very easy to wear. It has a lot of musk and cucumber in it. I think it's uh, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, next fragrance is uh, Bless Baraka by Inicio. And Dmitry really loves the scent, I love it also. I want a full bottle of <laughs> It's got amber, musk, sandalwood, it's powdery, it's spicy, it's sweet, very beautiful. Very mysterious. Mysterious fragrance that's more appropriate uh, for uh, autumn, winter. Yes. Very good. And actually it reminds me a little bit of Rosanne de Matteo number no. 5 that we have here. It's the creation of uh... Alberto Morillas, and it's very beautiful. Uh, the next uh, fragrance is Musk Ambergris uh, from the house of Avanescence. Uh, this fragrance is not for everyone. It has a lot of uh, a lot of black musk, uh, natural ambergris. It's uh, quite animalic. Uh, it's uh, animalic, dirty, and uh, clean at the same time. It has uh, black truffles, patchouli, mate tea. Yeah, it's animalic, earthy and uh, fresh and, as, at the same time. If, if you love these kind of fragrances, uh, try this one. It's, uh, it has a very good performance. Uh, next fragrance is uh, Dawson by uh, the House of Diptyque. It's a very beautiful white floral uh, fragrance. Uh, it's got tuberose, it's got musk, it's got African orange flowers, it's got iris. And um, the main difference between this fragrance and many other uh, white floral fragrances is that this one is actually fresh. I've got the Eau de Toilette version, I don't have EDP, but Eau de Toilette is very fresh. It's kind of, it's almost has a, a as if there is some green note, uh, but I'm thinking that it's musk that's making it um, elevate to a fresh level. Very beautiful fragrance and I really recommend this one for summer. Uh, the next fragrance is uh, Classica uh, by the house of Bortnikov uh, from Thailand. It's Extra de Parfum and it's, uh, the opening is very very powerful. Yeah. It's a very classy scent. It's a powdery, woody, citrusy, musky, ambery. It has a lot of uh, musk and castorium, uh, neroli. 
It has uh, orange blossom, heliotrope, lemon, uh, vanilla, labdanum and uh, other notes. I think it's a very beautiful composition. I would love to have a bottle of this one. Uh, next fragrance is uh, Le Muscle Peo uh, by Pierre Guillaume. Uh, this is a very clean smelling fragrance. Uh, it's uh, musky, woody, powdery, ambery, uh, aromatic. Uh, it's got musk, ambroxan, rosemary, aldehyde, sandal, and ylang ylang. Uh, but uh, mainly, I would say that you're getting this uh, fresh vibe. And uh, as Mitri mentioned in uh, one of his um, uh, samples, uh, he said that uh, one of the fragrances has this um, almost like laundry detergent smell. And uh, this one smells fresh, but it's not laundry detergent fresh. So it's just very pleasing scent, but uh, it's uh, not a beast mode at all. It's um, sitting a bit closer to your skin. It's something just to make you feel fresh during uh, hot summer days, in my opinion. Yeah, the nice fragrance is uh, Himalaya uh, by, by the House of Cree. I really enjoy this fragrance. It's very beautiful. It's kind of classy, very fresh. A citrusy, woody, powdery, musky. It has a lot of uh, citrusy notes like bergamot, grapefruit, also sandalwood, musk, ambergris. It's uh, very, very beautiful, uplifting, very clean scent. So next fragrance, we're getting onto our full bowls now. So next fragrance is Delina by Parfums de Mali. Uh, so this uh, is um, a fruity, floral uh, scent. So it's got rose, peony, lychee, rhubarb, uh, bergamot, uh, vanilla, cedar, vetiver incense, and of course, musk. Uh, musk here is very clean, it's fresh, it's uh, bright. Uh, if you are into fruity florals, uh, definitely check this out. Uh, the next fragrance is uh, also from the House of Crete. It's uh, Aventus, you all know it already. I think it's a very beautiful composition. Very, very masculine, yes, it's uh, fresh, uh, smoky, fruity. It's a shipra, fruity shipra. It has a lot of pineapple, birch star, musk, black currant, bergamot, uh, oak moss, uh, patchouli, ambergris, and uh, a lot of other notes. Yeah, I think it's a great fragrance. Uh, next one is um, uh, The Hub by Kajal. I really love this fragrance. We have a full review on this one. It's a beautiful, uh, fruity, uh, musky bomb. So um, it's uh, fruity, it's fresh, it's musky, it's tropical, it's sweet. Uh, it's got uh, passion fruit, apple, musk and amber in the notes. It's a very uplifting, um, very beautiful fragrance uh, for good mood. Yeah, it's uh, very beautiful. If you like uh, fragrances like uh, Kirke from Tiziana Terenzi or uh, Erba Pura, try this one. It's, uh, it smells it's, a bit more it's natural. Go go gorgeous, yeah. uh, the next one is uh, Mephisto uh, from Casamorati uh, under Sergio Pomrela. It's a very beautiful scent. It has a lot of uh, citruses uh, in the top, uh, like uh, grapefruit, bergamot, lemon. It also has uh, lavender. Uh, a lot of uh, different uh, floral notes in the heart of the composition, I guess. Uh, vi maybe violet, iris, something like that. And uh, it's, it has in the base uh, a lot of musk, sandalwood. Yeah, it also has rose. It's a very beautiful, uh, aromatic, citrusy powder fragrance. For the summer, it's uh, gorgeous. Uh, next fragrance is uh, John Fluid DC Silver by Maison Francisco Jan. I love this one a lot. It's very beautiful. Uh, it's got juniper berries, uh, coriander, musk. Uh, uh, it's uh, woody, aromatic and spicy. And to my nose, it's also very fresh. And I'm getting florals here as well. 
It's uh, beautiful and uh, for a hot summer day, it's going to be a savior. I actually bought this uh, for my husband. He really enjoys this one. Yeah, I really enjoy it too. Uh, the next fragrance is uh, Oud Mask from the house of Montal. Uh, this fragrance is definitely not for everyone. If you can stand the first uh, hour, hour and a half, uh, then uh, you might enjoy it a lot. It has a lot of uh, musk, wood, all of them are quite uh, synthetic smelling. Uh, it has uh, a lot of saffron, it's uh, spicy, powdery, emery. But uh, in the dry down I, I guess uh, the musk is very soft, beautiful. I really like this fragrance. It re reminds me a little bit of uh, Duro by Nozomato. I think it's uh, one of the best from Montag. Uh, next fragrance is uh, Monte Aris by uh, Stefano Berluca. We love this fragrance. Uh, it was in our top spring uh, fragrances and also we made a full review on this one. And if you watched it, you know how much we love this fragrance, both of us. We have a, a bottle each. Uh, so it's a powdery fragrance. It's got iris violet. It's a, a bit woody. It's sweet. It's got some tobacco there, tonka bean, uh, sandalwood and tangerine. But all in all, it's just a beautiful um, powdery scent that's um, somehow magical, and um, it's also it also has some beautiful uh, musk uh, that's in no way animalic. It's just uh, beautiful. Yes, uh, smell, smells gorgeous. A very attractive fragrance. Uh, the next one is uh, uh, Lyric Man uh, from the house of Amwaj, and. Uh, it's a beautiful spring and summer fragrance. It has a bergamot and a, a lot of rose. It has also lime, angelica, incense, uh, some woods in the base. It's uplifting, very uh, fresh, incensey kind of fragrance. It's mm. uh, quite, quite, uh, quite unusual. Also. Yes, I have to say that uh, it's uh, one of uh, favorites um, uh, of my husband. So he really loves uh, Amor's house as well, and uh, actually, Lyric Man is uh, one of his uh, absolute favorites. Yeah, and it, it has a lot of musk in it. Beautiful. So, next fragrance will be um, Baronda by Nasomato. So, it's a beautiful, a little bit boozy. Uh, it's got whiskey, it's got woody notes, uh, it's got musk, it's got rose here. So a very pleasant, uh, boozy scent uh, and you won't smell like an alcoholic wearing this, you will smell like a sophisticated person who enjoys this uh, beautiful uh, aroma of uh, aged whiskey. Very beautiful. In, in, in a barrel. Yeah, it, it's, it also has a lot of uh, umbrella in it. It's a uh, uh, plant-based uh, mask. And uh, yeah, it's fragrance uh, really gorgeous. Uh, the next one will be uh, Pico Adama by the House of Sergio from 1717 collection. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. It's very, very soapy very fresh and uh, extremely powerful at the same time it has a lot of aldehydes iris incense uh, beautiful sandalwood musk neroli bergamot uh, coriander i think it's gorgeous it lasts over 24 hours and projects like crazy very beautiful scent. Um, we've had an early impressions uh, review on this fragrance and uh, uh, back then I was a little bit skeptical. I liked it but I didn't love it and right now uh, a few months later I absolutely love this scent. So beautiful. Uh, next fragrance is uh, Musk Oud by Kilian. I will also have a full review on this scent and it's a very beautiful a fragrance, uh, the most dominant notes are rose, wood and musk. Uh, it also has lemon, geranium, uh, this is an aromatic, uh, spicy 
fragrance that has uh, a touch of cardamom as well. Very beautiful, attractive, uh, dark uh, scent. Yeah, it's, it has a lot of musk in it. Uh, the next one is uh, Amouage Gold, uh, Puro for men. I actually really li love this fragrance. Uh, for some people, it will be quite challenging. Many people hate it because it's uh, very animalic, very powdery, and uh, it has a lot of uh, a civet musk. It has a rose hip, a beautiful uh, lily of the valley. It, it also has a lot of incense, jasmine. Yeah, gorgeous scent, very masculine. I love the start of the scent, but I really dislike uh, the dry down. Yeah, so the, the dry down is quite, quite challenging, uh, but the first uh, hour and a half is just to die for. So next uh, fragrance is um, Present de Matteo, number five, floral amber uh, essential mask. This is a very beautiful scent. We have a full review on this fragrance and we've also done an unboxing video. Uh, truly beautiful. So it's a vanilla powdery, spicy, uh, exotic fragrance. It's got carnation here as well. Truly beautiful, very sensual. Um, uh, sometimes even mouth-watering fragrance uh, and uh, it works really well uh, with your skin chemistry and uh, people are just uh, in love with this fragrance. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, the next fragrance is uh, Civet de Nuit uh, by the house of Arige Le Doré. It's an artisanal fragrance house. It was a collaboration between Russian Adam and Sultan Pasha. Uh, this fragrance is not for everyone. Uh, some people uh, really love it, some people uh, dislike it, some people hate it. I think it's okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's uh, quite weird. It's uh, quite animalic and fresh at the same time. It has a, lo a lot of civet and musk in it. Uh, it also has a uh, heliotrope, jasmine, benzoin, tobacco, oak moss. Aldehydes, a lot of aldehydes in the opening. It's powdery, animalic, ambery, uh, spicy. It has some smo smoking cigarette vibe in it, mm. which I, which I don't like personally. But it wears quite uh, easy. Yeah, it's uh, for me. It's very dark composition with uh, with a touch of lightness in it. Definitely very dark and not for everyone. And uh, very animalic. Uh, next uh, fragrance is uh, Portoro by I Profumi del Marmo. Uh, it's an Italian uh, niche fragrance brand, uh, not very popular. But the fragrance here is just amazing. We've done a full review on this one as well. It's fruity, it's musky, it's sweet, it's got some woody notes, it's a bit powdery, it's got uh, floral heart, and uh, there's so much uh, uh, fruity notes that I'm not going to go into depth here. Uh, it's a, just a beautiful, uh, musky, fruity bomb uh, that will uh, uplift your mood uh, in seconds. And uh, this fragrance is really good for going out. It's um, just a beast mode a fragrance. Yeah, very beautiful, attractive scent with a lot of musk in it. And the next one is Will de Russie. Um, by the, the house of Arige Le Doré, it's a garment perfume, don't spray it on your uh, skin. Well, I, I love this fragrance. I really love this fragrance. It's very animalic, but uh, I love it a lot more than uh, Civet de Nuit. It has uh, also a lot of uh, natural deer musk in it. It has a, a lot of huge, huge amount of castorium, a birch star. It has a uh, violet, uh, jasmine, blue lotus, rose. It's smoky, powdery, animalic, a leather, very deep, very full, like a 3D composition. It's just to die for. If you love animalic scents with a lot of animalic notes, uh, you'll uh, love it. Um, I think it's gorgeous. Next fragrance is. Uh... Mascalon by Bortnikov. 
Uh, we've done a review recently on this fragrance, so if you're interested to watch full review, do so. So it's a uh, citrusy, musky, woody, floral, sweet uh, powder fragrance. It's got deer musk here, ylang ylang, uh, tangerine, sweet orange, sandalwood and green tea. I'm not going to tell you all the notes, just the main that I'm getting here. It's a very positive, bright, musky scent. So this is a dark musky scent and this one is a bright musky scent for good mood. For me, it's a scent of happiness. Uh, uh, the citruses, florals and musk are just to die for in this composition. I really love it. Uh, the next one is uh, actually these four compositions uh, contain the real uh, natural deer musk, which is uh, ethically sourced in uh, Russia. And uh, the next composition is uh, Russian musk too, uh, by the house of Arish Dodore. I love this fragrance. I think it's uh, one of the best cheaper fragrances ever created. Oh man, I love it. It has a lot of uh, natural deer musk in the base. Uh, it's woody, aromatic, citrusy, spicy, uh, powdery, musky. It, ha it has a uh, fur, lemon, uh, some uh, pine notes. It also has uh, orange blossom, sand, sandalwood, uh, oak musk, cloves, uh, other spices. It has a hu huge note no breakdown. I can't remember all of them. Highly recommend this fragrance. Maybe there will be uh, a part three of this fragrance, Russian Mass Three. Then maybe you'll be lucky to get it. But uh, sadly, it's uh, sold out. As Puerto uh, Rico is also sold out. And uh, yeah. And the next composition, which I also really, really, really love, I, th I think it's uh, my favorite Mass Fragrance. All four last compositions are my favorite uh, musky scents, but this one is just uh, out of this world. I think it's uh, very beautiful. It, it has a lot of uh, natural deer musk, ylang ylang. It has a uh, bergamot in the opening and a cardamom. It has also ambergris in the base. It has uh, vanilla, tolo balsam. It's sweet, powdery, floral. Ylang Ylang and Musk here is just to die for. They are absolutely amazing. Very, very deep, full composition. The Musk here is uh, soft and powerful at the same time. It's not of putting, it's not animalic. Quilt uh, see is a lot, of, a lot more animalic. Uh, in uh, Russian Musk 2, Musk is also a little bit more animalic to my nose, but uh, these two Bortnikov uh, masks are gorgeous. You also wanted to say a few words about honorable mention uh, fragrances? Yeah, I, I wanted to say a couple of words of uh, our honorable mentions. Uh, they are a great uh, mask sense. Uh, uh, first of them is uh, Master Vajur by uh, House of Frederick Mal. It has a lot of musk in it. It's uh, like a gourmand uh, musky fragrance with uh, lavender, cinnamon, uh, vanilla. It's uh, very delicious. I, I, wanted to, I want to have a full, full bottle of it. Uh, the next one is uh, Diagonal by Roger Parfum. Roger Parfums uh, by Roger Duff. I think it's uh, one of his best creations. I just uh, don't have a bottle. It's crazy expensive. And, uh, but it's uh, one of the best uh, cheaper fragrances uh, that I have ever tried. It's very complex, very deep. Uh, it has a lot of uh, animalic notes. It's quite animalic, uh, not for everyone. And uh, the last one is uh, uh, Nozomato Silver Mask. It's uh, beautiful, quite simple, uh, fresh, clean, musky scent. You, you can uh, uh, beautifully layer it uh, with other fragrances and uh, they will be much more projecting. Yeah, it's, it's quite beautiful. 
All right, that's uh, everything that we wanted to share with you in today's video. We hope that this review was useful for you. You found something interesting and new. Uh, we will be very happy if you'll subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you want to talk with us, comment section is always open for you. And we're very happy when you put thumbs up to our videos. Uh, we wish you an amazing uh, day. Uh, enjoy yourselves and goodbye. Thank you. Bye.